Viewers, since Monday, Times Now has been detailing the 225 page Italian court order that proves massive corruption in the Augusta Westland deal. Tonight, for the first time, we are bringing you the unseen Augusta papers. All of this has not been seen. In fact, our team is working on it. We have hundreds of pages still being worked at, translated, and analyzed. The unseen Augusta papers is part of a nine part news break on the news hour, and it's just the beginning of a full expose into the UPA chopper scam. The papers, me and I, news editor Niranjan, who's with me in the studio this evening, will show you, will show how it's proven without doubt that there was corruption in this case. These papers completely expose the Tyagi brothers for the first time. Joining us while analyzing the unseen uh, papers, and they haven't seen these papers so far, let me tell them. So, uh, Padma Rao, we have a number of senior journalists. Padma Rao, senior journalist with us. Sumansi Raman is a political commentator joining us from Chennai. MR Venkatesh will find this interesting because what we'll do is we'll read out parts of these documents and get your first hand analysis. We have Rashid Kidvai of The Telegraph joining us. I think Sabha is with us uh, also from Delhi. She'll be joining us in some time. So, Niranjan and I will take you through several parts of the Unseen Agastha Papers. Part one of the Unseen Agastha Papers, Niranjan, yes. and we have many, many pages here, as well as the analysis of it. Now, part one of these Unseen Agastha Papers proves between pages 50 to 66 of what you have, that according to Guido Hashke, at the end of 2004, Julie Tyagi is proposed along with his family to Hashke as intermediaries for tenders for VVIP choppers. Page 56 on your screen asking if he was able to give him a contact with producers in that sector. Now, according to Hashke, it was the Tyagi brothers who informed him of the requirement regarding the tender for supply of choppers. Hashke then takes this information to the Finn Mechanica executives. What is the point that emerges here from these part of the papers? Niranjan. Well, Arnab, uh, firstly, what we've done is from the 225 page order, we've uh, translated the entire order and we're going to it part by part. And these sure. are excerpts which uh, nobody else, no other media house has put out in such detail, especially yeah. when it comes to the Tyagi brothers. There's a 17 page chapter that speaks about the Tyagi brothers. And this is excerpt one that you've just spoken about. Excerpt one, essentially, excerpt one is first of all from page number 56, which is uh, the page number 56 of 225 from the Italian court order, which speaks about how Hashke, the middleman in this case, was introduced to Tyagi. And this speaks about how Hashke, the middleman in the Augusta Westland deal, says clearly the interest was to represent in India a possible supplier of these devices and thus obtain a remuneration for I consulting this services. Is, this is the part which we are talking that's about correct, here, that's right? Correct, that's okay, that's let's, let's put this part on the camera, right? If we, can, if we can just zoom in on this particular part while Niranjan, you analyze it. There it is on your screen, yeah. So, Hashke, the middleman here in this case, says clearly the interest was to represent in India a possible supplier of these devices and thus obtain a remuneration for consulting services related in this activity. And he talks about the activity that of Augusta Westland purchase of 12 choppers worth right. over 3,500 crore. So, he then says, so they were proposing as consultants. Yes, they were posing as consultants here, then a member of their family. So this is the first time that the public prosecutor cross questions Hashke to say, to ask if, yeah, uh, you know, if it is the Tyagi family, he says, Hashke then says yes. And uh, very interestingly, Arnab, a public prosecutor says, well, on that occasion or at a later occasion, have they told you, have they said to Gerosa that their cousin Shashi was to become, had already become, the charge was from 31st of December, 2004. That's when, uh, so, SP Tyagi took over as the AG. So, so, so what, is, what is coming out in this part, if I can just analyze this for our viewers, uh, a, as well as for, uh, you know, because we are doing live analysis here on the program of these papers, uh, for Saba, for, for MR Venkatesh, for Rashid Kidwai, Sumansi Raman and Padma Rao, the simple point is this, that this man, Tyagi, uh, Sumansi Raman, Padma Rao, you may want to comment on this, this man, Tyagi, yeah. Assumes office in the end of 2004, right? Congress government has taken over. He becomes air chief end of 2004. Then 
as the air chief he meets hashke the middleman in this case of corruption right and soon after assuming office on the 14th of march 2005 just one month after meeting hashke he signs a document which in which it is approved that the standards of the altitude these choppers should fly at is lowered allowing this company fin mechanica to play a part so look at the speed with which the corruption happens here padma maybe you want to comment on it look at the speed with which he happens he takes over in end december 2004 by january february he's met hashke by april within 3 months of taking over the air chief has already changed the norms padma first comment from you as we yeah. as we begin to analyze these legendary, papers legendary legend padma, legend padma. Legend yeah. Le legendary speed i would say going by you know the average length of time it takes for our defense teams to 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 go through uh, yeah. but before that uh, adna because i've come in late on this debate and i was listening into parts of your earlier debate i'd just like to say congratulations uh, all your hard work uh, your channel's hard work on this has at least got the congress to to move its lips uh, sonia gandhi ji came on uh, television and said a few things and so did mr ahmed patel directly to you but to that second comment i just wanted to to make a point to what ahmed patel told you uh, you know unfortunately they're taking a position but the position they're taking is digging them deeper into the quagmire yeah. he quotes the hindu and he quotes precisely giro hashke who is one of the uh, the accused and why does he why does giro hashke choose choose the hindu because the hindu has a certain level of respectability as we all know and giro hashke perhaps felt that if he were quoted in that paper post the verdict then his comments would you know assume some respectability which as you pointed out on your earlier debate is a, is a laughable matter the man is an accused uh, and and the hindu i mean it is a very respectable newspaper but after all it is a newspaper it's going to look for a scoop just by carrying an interview with somebody doesn't mean it subscribes uh, yeah. to those comments or lends its respectability to those comments too yeah. so for for ahmed patel to come on your channel and weakly counter uh, by pointing to ah but you know even so what uh, what what the verdict in italy the high court of italy may yeah. say uh, you know is is it's it's not a banana the Public, this is a European Union country. Yeah. So to say that, so what if the High Court said something? But Giro Hashke himself told the Hindu, the venerable Hindu, that you know whatever he said. So yeah. therefore, I mean, so I, I find that you know, in one sense, you've motivated them to speak, sure. but on the other hand, they're coming out with weaker arguments sure. and they're digging themselves deeper in the quagmire. Sure. Just going back to these papers out here, it proves that tender norms. Therefore, yeah. Suman so Singh Raman, the tender norms were changed. Uh, yeah. I would like I would like my colleague Niranjan to take us through the second part about how they changed the tender norms and uh, Niranjan, if you can briefly mention which part of the paper talks about yeah. these documents about changing of the tender norms to suit Augusta Westland, uh, uh, Niranjan. Yeah. We can just move our camera here so it can zoom in on what Niranjan is pointing into. Yes, please, Niranjan. Uh, Arnab, this is excerpt yeah. three that we have. Excerpt three and excerpt three comes yeah, on you uh, page sixty. Yeah. Page sixty of uh, the detailed two twenty five page order, yeah. and this is what it reads. Uh, so this talks about how they change the tender norms. The public prosecutor here is cross questioning Hashke. Yeah. He says at this altitude, can the Augusta Westland fly helicopters? Yeah. To which Has Hashke replies, no, except with the changes. The only helicopter that could fly at that altitude was, according to me, the Super Puma or Eurocopter. So, public prosecutor then asks, in that meeting between Zappa and Shashi Tyagi and his staff, did you speak Zappa about... Zappa is a code word. Yes. Did you speak about this issue or the operational portion and the need to lower it? Hashke then says, yes, it was talked because keeping the operational level, it would be virtually impossible to hold an international tender for lack of competitors. So, this is when they're discussing how to bring in Augusta Westland, which in the first place did not qualify for this particular... Uh, this particular, uh, you know, tender. So that's uh, that's how Augusta Westland comes in. So here he says he talks about how uh, the public prosecutor questions SK, yeah. saying, "At that moment, did you not know Shashi Tyagi in person? Is that correct?" Hashke says, "Correct." Public prosecutor asks, "Very well. When do you meet Shashi Tyagi for the first time?" Hashke says, "I do not remember exactly. Though after this meeting, I then met." Privately, Marshal Tyagi at the office of the Tyagi brothers, mm. and they go on to so then, so, yeah. so 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 look at the situation here, Suman Singh Raman. We all know middlemen are all over yeah. in, uh, in 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 Delhi. Unfortunately, Latians Delhi is teeming with middlemen. They say there are more middlemen than bureaucrats sometimes. The point here is that you have an air chief, Suman Singh Raman, and you have his family, which is fixing the yeah. deal for him, right? And the whole story yeah. is about how very quickly they 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 fix the deal. 
So Sumanth, in the context of these revelations, it's lucidly now clear there were middlemen involved in this case. Isn't it ludicrous to say there were no middlemen involved? The Tyagi brothers reach out to Hashke no, about a... Yeah, okay, Sumanth, yeah. You want to, you want to answer that? Arnab, Arnab I, I, find this whole thing, I find this whole thing completely bizarre. You have the defense minister of this country in, stating in the floor of the parliament that bribes have been paid in this particular case. Yeah. You have an Italian court. I mean, there's much of what, what uh, Niranjan read out now in terms of the altitude being changed and all that uh, to suit uh, to make Westland eligible for this whole deal. Yeah. Now, this was known. This was, in, this was known at least two to three years ago. Yeah. So, and the key person seems to be Air Marshal Tyagi, who is available for or for questioning or for you know for turning the heat on in whatever manner sure. you want sure. and neither the previous government nor the present government seems to be very keen to target him you can't get mr michel because uh, you know he is missing or whatever but what about what about the person whom you have a lot of there's huge amount of evidence in in these papers that you are revealing now yeah. as well as even earlier which had implicated the Tyagi family yeah. so if the government is choosing not to go after this gentleman yeah. then obviously there is some some reason which none of us yeah. can actually yeah. fathom I, I want and, to and don't please don't take this argument that it this takes the Italian court's latest no, judgment I don't it's agree with Amar Venkatesh that we have to wait for an Italian court's latest judgment yeah. you knew well in advance that somebody has taken the money and yeah. it is the CBI's responsibility to find out who has taken the money. I you have sent eight uh, letters rogatory over the last two and a half years. I want to Suman. add about the altitude. Yeah, M MR wanted no, no, to add something Suman. there. MR, MR, the MR, 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 MR. Suman, MR. Suman, Suman, I said, I said in the context of political vendetta debate that will be triggered. If, if the action were taken last week, now I say that the uh, Italian court has confirmed that there was a bribe and there was a bribe giver, even that fig leaf has been removed. No, no, but uh, you, you see, the, you run the tapes tomorrow morning, you will see. I never said no action could have been taken no, last no, week. No, no, it's not. I it's said not, you have been it's doubly, not, it's triply not fortified. My question, it is, has been fortified my question is, you had two years. You had two years. What has been the progress on this case, except for... No, no, I agree. For no, no, the B Interpol BJP government... Michel, no, no, BJP... Yeah. For I, I, now, I now want to, I I want to you draw your attention. Uh, I no, want no, to so draw man, your attention, so MR. Man, MR, we'll take the like, debate forward, but we must... Like we must... Sulci, you see, because... Like no, no, because, because MR, MR, so much has been... So much has been so flatly denied. By the Italian court, that would be standing as a very big evidence. Yeah, so much... Please understand how courts work. Courts will say that Italian lower court has dismissed the whole thing. MR, you know, so much... The court will be compelled even tomorrow. You and I can go to the court. MR, Th that is the whole significance of what Arnav has uh, brought yeah, out you last see, week. This you, week. See, you see, MR, I just, if I can just go back to Niranjan and me, and I want we want to bring an important part right now. You see, uh, I, you see, there is a talk about a share of commission in this, MR. Maybe we can go to X sub 5 and you can show the papers from X sub 5, on the, on, which is page 68, right? Which which talks about the which talks about the share of commission confession yeah so I just want to hold this up here please yeah viewers right it's the part about the share of commission and you will see viewers you will you will see viewers the commissions are mentioned here please watch carefully I'm pointing to them there's a reference to a commission I don't know if you have a TV set near you seven percent as in three and a half three and a half so there's talk of uh, there is talk of, I, I think, sharing the 7% commission, three and a half, three and a half between two gentlemen, right? Who, who are these two people we, being spoken about? Uh, the, the, the measure of compensation that Hashke has spoken about, on top of that, there is a commission which is being paid out. This is the share of commission confession part I'm pointing out. 7% viewers, if after this also politicians tell you that no commissions were paid, no money was paid, no politician knew, Nobody was aware of anything. Rashid Kidwai, this is getting now doubly embarrassing because we have a lot more papers and we have about 100 pages yes. still to reveal on this. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Rashid. I Rashid. Very, very quickly, just a second. Yeah, about okay. The altitude. No, no, altitude no, no, no. We'll come to the altitude part in a bit. It's a serious matter. No, no. We'll come to the altitude part in a bit. No, no. We'll come to the altitude part in a bit. No, no. We'll come to the altitude part in a bit. But, but what emerges okay. as per these documents is that as per the, the genesis of a deal is a meeting between Julie Tyagi and Guido Hashke in December 24, 2004, where a reference is made of uh, a, a forthcoming VVIP chopper deal. 
Following this, Hashke mentions this to the Fin Mechanica officials. In March 2005, a document lowering the share uh, of the operational uh, height is lowered. In April 2005, Giuseppe Orsi informs a meeting of Augusta Western officials that the Indian governments will ban a, a new tender for the purchase of VVIP choppers. In December, a contract Gordian is signed which defines and formalizes the relationship with Hashke. After this, payments are made to Augusta by Augusta Westland to Hashke and the first payments are made to the Tyagi brothers. The point is, uh, anyone who knows the speed at which government operates, and we have seen this in the context of the Rafal deal. Look at how long tenders take, contracts take, right, to be built. In this case, this is super, super, supersonic speed. This supersonic speed, Rashid, is not possible that only an Air Force chief is pushing it. He is so powerful, Defence Secretary, Defence Minister, Minister, MPs, Cabinet Committee, nothing matters. One man called Air Chief Tyagi pushed through the whole thing. Is that possible? Rashid Kedwai. Is it possible? No, it's not possible. It's a serious matter. It's a, it's a, it's a very serious matter. Therefore, instead of uh, now, the, it's, it's different from before's case where there was a prime minister who was accused of a, a, of a wrongdoing and then there was a brief government that was a coalition government that didn't last and again it was back to the Congress. Now, there is a, there is a government which is a one-party government. They must take this, uh, this issue extremely seriously and, uh, and if possible, FIR should be, uh, uh, should be Much filed. More. And CBI, CBI did investigate this matter. I don't know why they, they could not get any of these facts which were there in the Italian court. No, I, I think no, no, it's but not about Congress party, it's not about BGP, it's, 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 it, it involves no, the entire no, nation. No, no, what, what the point here is, the takeaway from the documents, pages 148 to 165, and, and my, uh, our news editor Niranjan will take us through that. The point is, uh, Sabah, the documents completely confirm there was very big corruption in the Augusta Westland chopper deal. Yes. The documents further confirm that Tyagi intervened right. in favor of Augusta Absolutely. Westland during the tendering process. The documents further confirm that conversations between Hashke and Gerosa are a giveaway of the element of corruption involved. And Niranjan, now you can tell us about, about page 129, which is a very telling statement. Yeah. Telling statement we have here, maybe you want to point out yeah. to it. It. Where, 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 no, no, you can point out to it where it says the authenticity of the intercepted conversation is indisputable and much more. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, Arnab, this is uh, page number 129, 129, 129, 129, 129. of uh, the 225 page judgment. And uh, this is what uh, this was the, some of the conclusions that were drawn by the investigators. And I'm just, just going to read that. Yeah, now, good. the headline here is corruption has been proven without doubt. And I'm just going to read the rest of it. It says the target. At least partial of the unlawful financing arising from the tax fraud to the payment of the price of corruption, Shashi Tyagi for his intervention in favour of Augusta Westland under tendering procedure for the VVIP helicopters is validly proven by a plurality of elements and circumstances. Now, this is what investigators in Italy are arguing, saying there's no doubt with the requirements of seriousness, precision and consistency including which means paramount importance should be given to environmental intercepted con conversations, the wording of which is unambiguous and unequivocal absolutely. in defining not Abs only the state of that money. Ab absolutely. Yes. And, and, and on top of this, and on top of this, the court also mentions a mystery note, page 163, if you can point out, yeah. uh, found with Orsi in which he says, call Monty or Ambassador Terraciano yeah. on my behalf and ask him to call the Prime Minister Singh, the PM Singh. The question remains now, and this is again for Indian investigators, why did such a note exist? And this did did Orsi have, did Orsi, you, can, you have the paper, you can point out, did Orsi have political links that he was hoping to tap on? Were there political links between the Italian government and someone who listens to the Italians in India? Who is it in India who is influenced by the Italians? Why does the Italian connection come up again and again and again? Why is it that all these Italians, whether it is Quattaroki, whether it is in this particular case Giuseppe Orsi, why is it that Italians seem to have a good time? 
vis-a-vis any sort of shady deals that are going on here. These questions will have to be asked. The court refers to how the Indian government has responded with incredible lethargy to the Indian prosecutor's questions for assistance. That go slow helps the same Italian crooks in this case. Who was protecting them? The, the mystery is now becoming much deeper with the emergence of these documents. Now, who was protecting them is the fundamental question. Sumant, let's get into the debate now. No. Sumant, MR Venkatesh Sabha. Yeah. After these documents, yeah, yeah, yeah. Arnab, Arnab. can you, can you not, will can, can you, I, yeah, uh, yes, Arnab. Sumant. Okay, Sumant, Sumant. Arnab, can I? Yeah, yeah. Sumant, look, Sumant look, and look. then Sabha. It, it's sort of clearly sort of established that bribes were paid and bribes were taken. The bribe givers have been punished, so why not the bribe takers? So now the issue is, we're now going to find out who the bribe takers were. Now, what do we have? We have certain people who are not in this country, who is going, against whom it's going to be more difficult to proceed against for obvious reasons. And you have certain people who are in, inside this country. And for instance, the, uh, the, the classical case is, what are you going to do about the, the Tyagis, who are potentially going to be the key that can unlock this whole mystery? If the government is not going to go after them, even after this avalanche Absolutely. of evidence that has come up, yeah, yeah. and uh, the papers that you have yeah, put yeah. out, then we can safely conclude that they are not interested no, in no, getting No, no, what we are truth. seeing is now passing the buck because the Tyagis say whatever was done was done by the Prime Minister's office and the Congress party no. says, Congress party says Sabha, that whatever no, was no, happening but, but, was being done if, by the government. If, if he has been a beneficiary, then obviously you can yeah. establish that. Well, then ask, it, ask the Prime Minister. I, can I establish? Fact, uh, yeah, yes, Sabha. You know, You know, for, first of all, Arnav, from the, the there's no doubt that this kind of a deal cannot move at this pace without political sanction. Having said that, it, there is something so disgusting about a gentleman who is becoming the chief uh, air chief, exactly, just uh, whose whose idea is to protect the country and do and you know indulge in this kind of blatant cronyism. Corruption. It's not it's corruption and obviously obviously he is someone who has brought political product uh, obviously he is someone who has bought political protection and there, no, 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 no. He can't. This, he can't buy political protection unless, her, unless the. the it, no, it's the other way around. The politicians. Going to political no, the, no, no, no. He, he. You know, how he, do we prove that? No, no. He is not buying political protection. It has to be that there is a political angle to this. You see. The, the politicians are protecting him because protecting I him is protecting no, I themselves. Agree, I agree. The politicians know. But Arna, the politicians. Yes, yes. You okay, know, fine. Danger, Arna, okay, so much. So much. So much. The danger is. So much. So much. But would we, if would I we be discussing this? Yeah, so much. So much. That's the tragedy of this. I mean, here is a deal where bribes have been paid and. You know, our, our focus is purely on the fact that this may lead all the way to the top in the Congress party and so on. We are not actually looking at the fact that the security of this country, these were meant to ferry VVIPs for God's sake. The security of this country was gravely MR, compromised MR. and this was a deal. MR and Padma. You know, MR and Padma Rashid. That so much as the political angle on you know, the whole, uh, you know, the, oh, who is involved that, in it. So I think Arnab, the Italian court judgment. Only from the fact that also the security of the country was compromised and necessarily that is why this Agreed. needs to be a bipartisan thing. You cannot have just, uh, you know, accusing of political accusations because both sides have plenty it's, to answer for, no, no, including it's not the only present government as to why they have done very little for the last 22 it's months. Not, it's not only, Arnab, it's not only Arnab, that. Yes, Arnab, yes, 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 uh, MR. Arnab, the, the, the Italian High Court, the Italian High Court, the Milan Court uses the phrase Sonia Gandhi is the driving force. I think that driving force... No, no, the court does not use the phrase. That's one of the documents as part which are being presented out here. It's not, okay. Those are not the words okay. of the court. The, the those court, are the, the words of, those are the the words of Christian the Michael, who is now so, giving... Those are the words of Christian Michael, who is now giving the Gandhis a clean check. Yeah, MR. That is the evidence. Yeah. That, that that evidence has to be looked into from the context it's of how the Tyagi acted, how the Congress party is reacting post the revelations, how the Prime Minister was uh, kept in the loop, and how somebody could say that the ambassador well, today, could speak to Prime Minister Singh. Well, now Ahmad Patel the driving says, force, may I say the driving force was driving the whole deal. Ahmad, Ahmad the Patel Arnab, says, Arnab, look at it, the driving force 
Ahmed Patel now I says know, that ask the then government. Beautifully. Ask the then government, but I, I, if, no, no, if the Congress is distancing itself. No, who is the then government? Who is the then government? Well, they government? say ask the Manmohan government. Singh. Ask Antony and Manmohan Singh. Singh. Don't ask the Gandhis. You see, you see, you see, you see. Look at no, no. Look at it this way. Look no, at no, it politically. That is, that is, look at it politically. And Rashid, Rashid, so Rashid has followed the Congress party and reported on the Gandhis over many years. He's written a book called Twenty Four Akbar Road. The point is this: this is not Rashid about protecting Twenty Four Akbar Road. First of all. It is not about protecting the Congress Party. It is only and only and only and only about protecting the Gandhis, right? I find it interesting that in the Ishrat file case, the Congress Party dumped Chidambaram, right? Dumped it on Chidambaram, and in this Augusta case, the Congress Party has dumped it, literally dumped it on Manmohan Singh and Anthony. Is there any doubt in your mind about that? About that strategy? They are wearing suicide vests. They are wearing no, I don't suicide vests today. I don't I know. Know. Yes, that Rashid. There is, is a certain way a, go a government functions in India. There, 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 is, there is a way that government functions, particularly when it comes to functioning of Ministry of Defence, PMO. There are lot of things are there on the files. There are lot of things which are recorded, documented. Now, just to say that somebody was a driving force, it's it was very well known politically. Indeed, Sonia Gandhi was a driving force of the UPA government. But yeah. did she make a call or did she uh, make any kind of observation, any kind of instruction? Ahmed, Ahmed Patel was also not technically speaking was not in the government. So, if it is relating to defence ministry, which is also under surveillance, these things are very well documented. So, yeah. it is the yeah. present well, government. Well, I well position. okay. Second well, thing, if you recall, well at this stage, at this understand. stage. The defense minister was changed. The defense minister was changed also because Sonia Gandhi wanted to put a great, greater weightage to probity. I fail to understand. I was even if you say that she was Mr. indeed the driving was force in, in the UPA government, this is a defense file. Absolutely. This is a classified defense file. This is about the security of the country. Yeah. How does the party president, no matter how much of a driving force she may be, have any jurisdiction or place, even in an informal note, in a top uh, top uh, highly classified defense file well that well viewers viewers on viewers once minister. again tonight and once again tonight back, we all now know one, which one, line once is again tonight once again tonight, once again tonight, again tonight there are many takeaways from these papers that I'd like to say that the analysis team of the news are that the that the analysis the analysis the analysis team of the the analysis team the analysis team of the news are is going through hundreds of pages to find Doesn't out the relevant mean, parts as we continue our expose more is coming to the congress party i want to assure you don't worry much more is coming in the next few days right